My name is Zach. I'll be reading from American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. <laughs> Basically, if you don't know, it's about a guy named Patrick Bateman. He's a Wall Street guy, and he kills people in horrible, gruesome ways. I don't know why he got banned in many places. <laughs> I don't know, it caused an outrage. It got certain, certain bookstores banned in America, like more conservative states. And it got banned completely in Australia. So, for a little while, I, I don't know how long. So, I'll be reading a monologue. It's basically a confession to his secretary of why he is the way he is. There is an idea of a Patrick Bateman, some kind of abstraction, but there is no real me, only an entity, something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, and maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are somewhat comparable, I simply am not there. It is hard for me to make sense on any given level. Myself is fabricated, an aberration. I am a non-contingent human being. My personality is sketchy and unformed. My heartlessness goes deep and is persistent. My conscience, my pity, my hopes disappeared a long time ago, probably at Harvard, <laughs> if they ever did exist. There are no more barriers to cross. All I have in common with the uncontrollable and the insane, the vicious and the evil, all the mayhem I have caused, I have caused, and my utter indifference toward it, I have now surpassed. I still, though, hold on to one single bleak truth. No one is safe. Nothing is redeemed. Yet I am blameless. Each model of human behavior must be assumed to have some validity. Is evil something you are, or is it something you do? My pain is constant and sharp, and I do not hope for a better world for anyone. In fact, I want my pain to be inflicted on others. I want no one to escape. But even after admitting this, and I have countless times, and just about every act I've committed, and coming face to face with these truths, there is no catharsis. I gain no deeper knowledge about myself. No new understanding can be extracted from my telling. There has been no reason for me to tell you of this. This confession has meant nothing.